Hi, in last tutorial, I did explain how to save form data in AIM repository. In this tutorial, I'll explain how to display that information in a component in a table. In a high level, we will be having a component which will be having a table and in that table will this display the information stored in nodes. More precisely, I'll be having a component called uh, author info. I'll be having the sling model for that and we'll having your author service the same service what we'll be using and the service which actually bringing the uh, OSGA factory configuration and from that once we have all the factory configuration we'll be having the data from the specific website on which this component is being used and then we'll bring back that data and we'll display in author component author info component which will be having a table so basically from the component we'll pass the country code let's say we pass the US this country code from the sling model will be passed to this service and from this service to this author service config. From this, once we have this country code US, according to this country code, a specific uh, this factory configuration will be picked and then we'll get that uh, configuration, country specific configuration and when we get data according to this country, we'll get that data from the specific country and we'll display in this component. So this is my component and this is the site lay. Uh, this is header, first name, last name, email, phone number and detail. I'll tell you what is this detail and we'll displaying that information. So if you see the detail, basically this is a button. We'll use this button in the next tutorial. Okay, this is a simple table. And uh, in table, what we are displaying here, I'm bringing a list and this list will contain a map, right? One map for each entry. So it will iterate a list here. From the list, we'll get that map and one map will contain the info about the one author. This is how the site is uh, written. Now let's go back and check the sling model. Sling model will contain only a one method which basically uh, return a list which contain map. So implementation of this method is, so basically uh, in this method, I'm calling the service, OSGI service, which has a method by passing the country code. So how I'm passing the country code, it is important. So in post construct, basically post construct execute when all the dependencies has been injected to the sling model. So once this model is ready, uh, so what I'm doing, I'm getting the path of the current page, then split that path based on the forward slash and I'm getting the fourth item in the fourth of this, the splitted array. So if you see here, if you split this, if you split this, so after splitting that, I'm getting the fourth element, which is the country code, and I'm passing that in this method. Okay, so this is the method. I declare a list, and I'm getting the OSGI factory configuration instance for this country, as I explained in last tutorial. I got the node where all the author's information have been stored. I got the resource resolver. From this resource resolver, I got a uh, a iterator of all the resources means all the information stored all the nodes right uh, now I'm just iterating it one by one I'm creating a map or the hash map for one author's information right I got the value map and I'm putting in this map I'm putting all the required information here and then this map is is added to this list and then this list is returned to the sling model and from the sling model it will be returned to the cycle so how it is work so once i build this and i refresh i see all the information first name last name this phone number this this is right now disabled as i said i'll use this button in the next tutorial when i see the information of particular author you see here this table is pretty simple suppose i need a search here i need a pagination so there is a ready-made table Table available called data table so we will be using I'll, I'll show you how you can use that table ready-made so if I show you can go to the data table this is basically a jQuery data table this has some ready-made functionalities like search like number of the uh, pages you want to number of the entries you want to show per page and the pagination so to use that table you must take the jQuery library from that site or that is available over internet so I added that client library it means the jQuery and the data, uh, data table bootstrap some functionalities specific for the bootstrap and on top of that I'm writing some 
uh, that uh, bootstrap CSS and on top of that I have some specific CSS pretty minor okay and this is uh, specific to my project basically this is a selector right on which this this functionality will be applied okay so now let's see the sightly code for this so first I added that client library I'm adding a specific to this uh, sightly only it's up to your choice you can add how I did add in last project but because the component specific so I'm, I'm just intentionally adding it over here and we have this table in this table you must have head or footer if you need and there is the three section head footer and the body right in header whatever the headers you have like first name last name if you need the same thing in the bottom so that you can add in t foot and this is the actual body this is exactly the same code which i display for the normal table the first name last name how i'm iterating the important part is how this javascript what i did add in client library to apply to this so you must have some selector on this table tab so if you see geeks table so this is basically my class which is selector and if i open the client library client lab and i see this if you open this so i'm adding this geeks table class and i'm applying data table on this and responsive is equal to true so how it will begin it will check this selector and data table library will be applied to top of this selector means the table so let me deploy this and let's uh, me show you how it work now you will see there's some additional information available your search so this is basically adaptive search it will search on top of every key press right let's say i need to search ee so it will search the two ee available so it is there in e this and this as well or let's say i need to search what is common let me search seven so this seven is available on all the all the four rows. So if I select seven eight, which is not available anyhow, let me select six seven. Six seven is available in multiple tables, multiple columns. So what we can select specific? Let's say select David. D A V I. So this David is available only in this row. So that way you can select, you know, search. If you have more than one entries, what you have added here, there will be a pagination. Right now, this is static, so you can make it dynamic as well. Let, let's take this as your work. So how it is. So as soon as I add a new entry here or submit a form, the data will be available. So let me submit a one more entry. So if you see, I'm just adding one more author. I added and I refresh, so there must be a one more entry here and you see the uh, this one this has been added okay and if you search ar so simply this row has been written so this is this table is very useful you can use any project you can modify this as per you need there are a lot of customization available for this uh, i hope you understood if you have any question please do comment thank you